Hi, I'm Jared at Lanco. Today, we will troubleshoot a JNL folder gluer running corrugating 2300 on the new Valco 900 series board runner. Anytime you change a product, make sure to flush the old glue first. Don't make adjustments until you are 100% confident you have a complete transition. Next, record current setting, fluid pressure, air pressure to the pump, and make observations of the pattern. You are looking for uniformity of beads, proper pattern placement, and bead size. During our transition, we noted the pattern was shifting and had slightly enlarged beads. In this case, the glue head was bouncing during extrusion. To correct it, we adjusted the tension and alignment of the glue head. This resulted in uniformity of the glue bead and ideal pattern placement. Now that we have the proper pattern, we can optimize the bead size. In this case, we went from 55 PSI to 35 PSI, reducing the actual bead size to optimize performance by generating faster tack and fiber tear with the added benefit of reducing consumption and improving economics. Look at that fiber tear. That's how you do it.